Hi everyone, Father Ed Wade back again. It's the uh, feast day of St. Rose of Lima. It is exactly 25 after uh, 7, Thursday, the 23rd of August. And I've been thinking about this video for quite some time. It's been a while since I made one. Um, but I, I really feel called to do this. And the theme of this is press on. I'll explain that. Press on even in the midst of difficulties and trials. And certainly the church is going through a lot of trials right now, especially with the sex scandals uh, that have happened with Cardinal McCarrick and everything else that's coming to the surface. And there's a chance, there's a chance that people will get upset, and rightly so in many ways, leave the church uh, and what have you. And a lot of frustration and anger out there. But I'm likened to Jesus being in the boat with the apostles when the storm came. He looked like he was asleep. And all the apostles getting upset, and he finally woke up, and he says, why are you afraid? Jesus has never abandoned us. He never abandons the boat. There were 2,000 years of all kinds of tragedies and heresies over since he founded us with St. Peter. And things haven't changed. It's going to be that way from the, uh, for, till, till the second till he comes again. I believe that. If Jesus had a Judas, what makes us think we're not going to be, we're not going to have him today. And I'm not calling Cardinal McCarrick or Archbishop McCarrick a Judas. There go I by the grace of God. Uh, but what I really feel called is hope, hope, that my hope is in Jesus Christ. It's in no other person. It's in Jesus Christ and Our Lady and their call in my life as a priest and also to reach out to you in any way that I can via these videos and some of the postings that I put. And I put in a lot of tough posts. If you read my posts, you realize some of them are pretty tough. And I can read when people get frustrated. Here comes Father Ed Way again. But... Uh, I want to make it clear that these are the times we're living in. John Paul II said it quite clearly. We're living in the greatest historical confrontation that humanity has ever known. The church, the anti-church, the gospel, the anti-gospel, Christ, the anti-Christ. And the church must go through it. It must go through it. And so this is what's happening. And I'm praying for God's mercy, not only upon Cardinal McCarrick or Archbishop McCarrick, for repentance, but for all of us. Because who are we to sit there and judge anybody? We all have our own sins. We all have our own sins. And so we're here to love and forgive, love and forgive and mercy, and leave the judgment up to God. He has called us to be mercy. He's the judge. We're not the judge. He's the judge. We don't we don't hide. We don't look at the issues that are coming before us and start to think and see what's going on. But anyway, what I thought I'd do, uh, I want to share a song with you. I'm going to sing it. You believe it? Get ready for this one. And it was written by a young seminar, a young uh, student, a college student at Rutgers University in 1987, Bobby Filaramo. And he published it via the Quinine Academy in Plainfield, New Jersey. And uh, let me give you the address in case those of you who want to get the lyrics and you want to hear this, you're seeing yourself. His name is Bobby Filaramo, Quinine Academy Press, 1040 Plainfield Avenue, Plainfield, New Jersey. And the phone is 07062. That's the area code. And the phone number is 908-668-9002. And I want to sing this song. And I want this song. I taught the members of my community that when I die, whenever the Lord brings me home, I want this song at my funeral. I want this to be the story of my life. That I tried the best that I could. That I repented when I failed. And I got up and I went for it. I kept on going for it. You know, my breakness and walkingness because I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. And I want to go to be with our lady and Jesus for the rest of my, for, for all eternity. And I want to take as many souls with me as I possibly can. And that was why I started the, the two websites. I have the Ring of Fire website and the Ed Wade website. So I want to sing this song, Press On. And it's, it's, it uses the word he, masculine now, pronoun. So you can replace it with she or we as you go along with it. And you could say it would, it would imply being a female to a daughter. But it is written by a young man speaking as a young man. But as I said before, you can transfer it. Are you ready for this? Pray for me because this is embarrassing. I'm not a singer. Uh, but I feel like I'm supposed to do it. So here it goes. It's called Press On. For the man who follows Jesus all the days of his life, who picks up his cross and walks with his God, a glorious inheritance awaits him at the end, 
when he will see and know his true father and the pearl of great prices in his hands. So as for me, I will press on in running the race with my eyes fixed on Jesus, who inspire and perfects my faith. I will fight the good fight with all my heart and soul till the day that I'm with Jesus, the day I'm finally home, the day that I have won the crown. He will approach the throne of his Father with Jesus at his side. The Father will rise and say, Welcome home. You're a good and faithful servant. You're a, Come and take your reward. The battle's done. Come and take your rest and stay with me forevermore. And the heavens will resound with thunder of praise. The angels and saints will shout for joy. And the mountains will dance because his son has come home. Another warrior returns from the fight. Another victory for the Lamb of God. So as for me, I will press on in running the race. With my eyes fixed on Jesus, who inspire and perfects my faith. I will fight the good fight with all my heart and soul. Till the day that I'm with Jesus, the day I'm finally home. The day that I am finally home. The day that I am finally home. Now remember, not just the man, it's the daughter. It's the we. We do this together. We're a family. We link ourselves arm to arm. And if we necessary, we pull. I remember one thing that we remember when I was in the Marine Corps. We never left anybody behind. We never left anybody behind. And that's my sole reason for existence. That's my sole reason for getting into this ministry. To use the technology. You know, I started from ground zero to learn this, and I'm still learning. And uh, but that's my that's my call for you. So again, Bobby Fularamu, press on. Remember, you can put you, she, we, whatever. Even though it was risen with the masculine, it is meant for each and every one of us. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the this ministry of the Ring of Fire and the Ed Wade website and uh, for the Facebook, for both. I ask your blessings upon all those who watch this video. Uh, Lord, that you bless them, that you send the fire of your Holy Spirit upon them, that you grant them hope and faith even in the midst of the crisis. Never, never, never to lose trust in you and confidence in you that you're behind all this and you love each and every one of us. You love those who've been faithful. You love those who've been unfaithful. You love the blacks, the whites. You love the Muslims. You love everybody. You're a father of love. And that's, Lord, let that love shine through this video. Let that, that love shine through the song, even though I'm not a singer. But that's my heart, Lord. And, and that's what I want my, you know, and when, I'm die, when I die and you call me home, that's what I want to be played at my funeral. I'm in no rush, by the way. I'm in no rush, Lord. I'm in no rush. Especially if you want me to stay here and continue. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon each of you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, and I love you all.